I would like to continue on with uh, georeferencing. We've uh, managed to bring in a PDF that we've converted to a JPEG and aligned it to the Finger Lakes uh, National Forest area here. And now when we, we look at this closely um, to see how well we've done, um, what you can do here is to uh, change the transparency. So uh, go to the properties of that layer I change the transparencies uh, to something so that I can I can see through the one layer to see how well it lines up with the other. Now as I zoom in on this I can see that the um, roads don't quite line up here so I've I've got an error in my um, adjustments in terms of how well that works. Now you may find that um, it's good enough for what you're attempting to do or you may say Know that uh, you know look, this point is just too far off. I'm I'm not happy with that at all. So what we can do is to go back and modify the um, transformation. So if I if I go back to the georeferencing, uh, one of the things that I could try is I could try to take those same um, four points, but instead of doing a linear transformation, uh, perhaps I'll I'll pick something else and I'll call this uh, a new a new um, raster name. So if I do that, which I've, I've already done, so you run through the process again and, and do the uh, georeferencing, uh, what we could find is that it may look a little better. So I'm going to switch on uh, the other one that I had done. So here, um, again, I've changed the transparency and uh, you see you do get a little artifact here because it's a polynomial what it's doing is just not doing a linear shift or for a transform it's actually um, kind of warping the um, image a little bit so I'm going to scroll in and see how well this uh, this one looks and you can see I have a much better orientation between the roads it's still not perfect but it does get us a, a little bit closer so we may um, we may find, um, for example, down here, Peach Orchard Point lines up uh, quite a bit better. So that may be good enough for us, uh, or we may say that uh, you know we want to we want to do some further modification. So you might want to try to get as good as you can get with a linear transformation, and then uh, and then adjust it uh, accordingly. Now the other the other aspect that uh, we can do with these is to to go back to our, our original points and adjust those points, you know, saying we were a little high here or a little low. So one of the, um, the selections here, this is adding, adding a point, um, this is deleting a point, uh, and this is to moving a, moving a point. So there are, there are three things we can do. We could add some more points to try to, to uh, stretch this more accurately. Um, we could delete one that we don't think is working all that well, or we could try to move one. So I'm going to investigate uh, moving a point here. So if I select a, a point and you were down here, we had picked this location once before, so I can grab this potentially and 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 sort of move this trend. And you can see how it's 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 adjusting. It's it's recalculating how it's going to make the adjustment. And if you notice down here on the uh, on the bottom that everything is being adjusted as I move this one particular point. So I may uh, say that you know this is where it was initially that you know I'll try it a little higher and see how that works. Now what I can do with that then, and let me recheck my settings here, so I've got this as, a, as linear and I may, um, well, let's leave it linear to see the bigger effect, and I'll put this as uh, 7 here. And load when we're done. So now we'll be able to see the effect of adjusting that one particular point. So uh, modified 7, so I'm going to turn modified 6 off and we'll go to change the properties here to set the transmission at about 50 percent. And we can now see the effect of that one particular modification. So I'll go to, so zooming in on that point, now we can turn between um, can go between modified six and modified seven to uh, to see how see the effect. 
And so there's modified 7 and modified 7. So it does appear to have, have done something you know, positive in that, in that fashion. So uh, repeating this process, and it's a very iterative process to go back and forth, adjusting points, changing the type of, of transformation until you get something that you're, that you're fairly happy with. And so for now, we will um, make the assumption that we're fairly happy with this uh, modified 5. Okay, so the next, uh, the next process we may want to do is to investigate a little bit further, uh, since we we're kind of designing this to be uh, something with relating to camping. So I'm going to, to scroll in, and, and here you can see the benefit of this uh, PDF, is that we have information here that talks about the horse camp and uh, blueberry patch, and there's a, a number of, of campgrounds that are, that are in this area. You know, previous to that, what did we have? So I'm going to I'm going to take this off, and you can see I have a, the trail map there. That's the the purple, and I have a little bit of water that's there. Uh, so what did I learn? Uh, one thing I learned is that there's a little more water over here. So uh, I'm going to concentrate on this uh, this area and bring in an insert. To this uh, to this map, so um, this time around, I'm going to edit the the image in a different fashion. So I'm going out and look for a free online uh, editor, and I'm going to open an image from the computer system, and we'll bring in our national park. So this is again another type of a, of a photo editor. Uh, this one is is online. And what I want to do is to just scroll up here into the corner where there was a identification for the, the, the trails. So I'm going to highlight and select those trails in that uh, atomic group there. So I'm selecting those and then I'm going to edit here and we'll crop this. So I've cropped that down to a small area uh, and now save that. Uh, save, uh, we want the quality to be 100%. Um, we'll call it the, oh, going back to QGIS. Um, and we're, we're in this area, so uh, we've, we've got a zoom uh, set about uh, where we want it there. And so now I'd like to geo-reference this uh, system. So I'm going to open a new raster. And I'll save those points. Uh, open up the new raster, Campground 2. And now we'll start to pick some points. Um, so we've got to find some references here that, that kind of line up well. Here's a nice uh, intersection that we could use. So we'll take that intersection there, which is this intersection here. Um, take the uh, edge of this pond. Edge of that pond, uh, this corner, and so we have three points, and we'll we'll start this rendering. Oops, we forgot to call it something. Set the coordinate system, and we've now brought that in.
and that's uh, that's worked fairly well. Uh, we may do a little adjustment with that to uh, bring things a little closer. However, now we do have a pretty good idea of what's happening in this particular area, and we'll go a little further with uh, this investigation uh, shortly.